Man, look, this is going to be quite a year. Let me make sure. Hold up. Oh, all right, yeah, y'all could hear me. But yeah, it's gonna be quite a year, yo. Um, this is one of my most important videos, especially if you want to make twenty twenty four a great year. You know, um, I've been, I've been saying a lot of stuff when it comes to the themes that you know happen with inside of our lives, and you know, I know that all the time y'all don't be listening. But I know a lot of y'all do be listening. And I know that as... Look, I don't be capping now. I've been... I be saying shit from fucking years ago. Like, I remember talking about how we're going to be getting into with our true self and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I've been talking about that shit for a grip. And if you look at my channel, I've been doing that shit. And I know a lot of y'all been doing that shit. So it's like... I'm actually have a, I'm gonna have a play. I'm gonna make a playlist that's called Astrology that that talks about y'all. I need y'all to see that I really be saying shit and that shit really be happening. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, right? If you're not, if you aren't always aware of the themes, that's gonna hold you back from growing because you might be trying to do something, but it's just not the time for that. So inside this video, I'm gonna tell you what type time it is. For 2024 and what's supposed to be happening You know what I'm saying We're gonna be using numerology We're gonna be using the Chinese zodiac shit And fucking astrology Western astrology Yeah By the way if you guys want an astrological reading I have that shit down below All different kinds Just you know fill out the form And then look through all the different stuff that I have And then you know Pick what you guys like Because I could get really specific for, for you guys You know what I'm saying This is going to be very general But I could get real specific Let's get into this video bro So 2024 right Let's first do numerology real quick So 2024 is an 8 year You know because 2 plus 2 plus 4 equals 8 right Now 8 deals with transformation You know It also could deal with pretty much like Material Wealth and stuff like that and abundance, but it's overall like transmutation, especially when it comes to more physical elements, you know, in Egypt, the God set, which rules the ego is actually associated with the number eight. Now, that does not mean that eight is evil. Eight can be evil. People who have eight energy could be very, um. They could, they could get egotistical, they could be very material driven, they could also be very impulsive, you know what I'm saying? However, in its higher states, it, it allows you to actually transmute negative energy and actually step into your power. Because when, because when set is transmuted, when the ego is transmuted, it's actually used to fight against evil. You actually learn in Egypt, in Egyptian mythology that um, even though set, he's the god of chaos and all this other shit and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And he, and he, causes, he causes all this problem... He causes all these problems in Egypt. At some point, he actually defends the boat of creation from an evil serpent named Apep, who who tries to destroy who tries to destroy creation. So your ego, when uncontrolled, could be a super duper detriment to yourself and everybody around you. But when it's used for its highest good, it actually can help fight off evil and it can actually help sustain creation and help you manifest your goals and all that other shit. So with this eight year. Understand that it's a lot of transformation to be happening right now, especially to help you step inside your power. Like a lot of physical elements will be transmuted and you're going to be stepping into your power more. That's what it's trying to get you to do. Now, people who are not willing to transform and transmute these lower energies, they're going to they're going to succumb to those negative forces. And pretty much they're going to be on like a downhill. Like if you're trying to evolve and transform and become lighter and stuff like that, the all this transforming shit is going to help you. But if you're not trying to transform, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff coming at you. And because you aren't changing, you're not going to be able to handle it. You know what I'm saying? Understand also that 2023 last year was a year, was a seven year, which is a year of wisdom, you know? So you could have gained a lot of wisdom during that year. And the, and the wisdom that you gained from last year is going to help you transform inside this year. Let's talk a bit more about some Chinese shit, though, because this is also the year of the dragon. Now, dragons symbolize honor, nobleness, luck, success, power, authority, respect, wisdom, strength, ambition. It's very yang energy. It's very active energy. You know what I'm saying? And wood, right? Because it's actually a wood dragon year. And wood is the... Which symbolizes the, the beginning of something and the generation of something. Think about it like this. Like, like when the tree grows, right? You, it starts growing like it's... What's the a root? The, the, the stem? What's the, what's the bark? The, 
You know what I'm talking about, right? The wood shit. It starts growing the wood shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the beginning of something, you know? So see the year of the dragon as the beginning of you stepping into your power, into pretty much you're beginning to pretty much become your more authoritative self, which is why with this eight year, right? Like I said, eight is sim is associated with set, which when it's transmuted, relates to your deep power. They actually talk about also, think about it like this. Think about it as a fire, right? It could be a, the fire could be super duper destructive, but when it transforms, I mean, but, but yeah, when you actually control it, it becomes like a light that like shines the way for stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it can help with creation and stuff like that. In Egypt, they have a metaphor when it comes to, um, they call it like cooling the flame. And and they say like like your flame because becomes watery or stuff and stuff like that because when it's uncontrolled it's very destructive. When this power is uncontrolled it's very destructive. But when you transmute it and stuff like that, right? It becomes the power that actually lets you like attain like you know like higher achievement and access to higher realms and all that other stuff. So with that being said, right, you're beginning to step into that power. Which is why with this eight, you're gonna you're gonna be transmuting a lot of shit. Like a lot of material, physical forces and energies that you that you usually dive into that make you more like inert and make you more like held down to physical reality and stuff like that. You're gonna be transforming that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because there's astrology shit with this too. But you're gonna be transforming that shit and actually step into your true power and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So you guys could also be experiencing some luck this year because dragons do deal with luck and stuff like that and success. But overall. See it as you step into your power, into your more authoritative self, your more commanding self. You're really finding your strength. So you can actually start achieving your goals and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And just overall become the person you want to be. So with that being said, last year was the year of the water rabbit. So rabbits are rabbits deal with peace, prosperity, longevity, mercy, elegance, beauty. They avoid conflict. They deal with patience. You know what I'm saying? And they're also very yin energy. They're very receptive. So it's not it's not a it's not an active year like how this year is gonna be, you know? Water also deals with reversion, like going within. And it also deals with receptivity. You know what I'm saying? So with with the whole reversion thing that's that's really that's some real Chinese shit. It's like what is the beginning of something? Then water is like when you go back within. Like 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 the creation's kind of done, you start going back within, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, like I said, rabbits deal with pretty much like with when it comes to prosperity, right? Some of you may be like, Well, I don't I didn't feel very prosperous last year. It deals with pretty much the the ability to become prosperous through patience. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a very patient, peaceful avoiding type of energy when it comes to the rabbit it's a very yin sign and also water is very intuitive receptive and, and reversion like so with last year being a seven year a year of wisdom and intuition it was helping you to connect with that shit like some of you guys may not have like been achieving your goals how you want to type shit that's because you're supposed to be sitting down and learning and stuff like that you might have got the wisdom that's going to allow you to actually achieve prosperity you know what i'm saying especially with the side of this year with all this transformation and stuff like that now even if you don't achieve every single goal and become super prosperous right this year is about transformation big time you know you may start seeing more of the like you're going to definitely see manifestations take place for sure as you transform but 2025 you're going to see a lot of that shit too you know what i'm saying but that's getting ahead let's talk about this year right so, like I said, last year was a very wisdom year, intuitive year, pretty much gaining wisdom that's going to help you transform inside of this year, right? Now, understand, on some astrology shit, right now we had the North Node in Aries, right? The North Node controls the direction that we head towards in the collective, right? So, the North Node in Aries, right, is per it's been in Aries for a while, but that deals with heading in the direction towards your true self. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's trying to get us to do. It's trying to make us go towards our true self. And I've been talking about this shit for a fucking while, even before I was in Aries. So when I make that astrology playlist, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, it should, it's going to be up probably by tomorrow. Because I'm going to do this shit after the video. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, y'all going to be saying, I've been talking about this shit for a grip. And it's been really applying. Like, this shit is really real. So... All the people who already been getting into with their true self is going to be great for them. Now, understand that you need to be careful because Aries deals with your very impulsive actions and your very instinctual actions. Because when it comes to your identity, right, your the way that you identify yourself 
is going to control what actions you take. Like if you say, oh, I'm a chef, I bet that your base actions deal with cooking and stuff like that, don't they? So with that being said, people who are in tune with their true self, right? When you head towards that, it's like you're just getting in tune with who you truly are and stuff like that, and it's all fine and dandy. But when you have when you're when you when you first start heading towards this energy and you don't know fully what it's about, it's like it makes you get in tune with your more instinctual and impulsive actions, which may or may not be good. But if they're not good, then you may notice that you become more instinctual and more impulsive than you're just acting off these base instincts. You know what I'm saying? So overall, it's trying to urge you to learn more about yourself, the things you identify with, and get you in tune with your true self. You know what I'm saying? We also have Chiron and Aries, and that's gonna be in Aries till to June 2026. The North Node it's going to be in Aries until January 2025, but Chiron and Aries, that's going to be until June 2026. Chiron deals with healing wisdom and gaining healing wisdom that helps you heal and other people heal, right? So Chiron and Aries, right, pretty much deals with gaining healing wisdom from your identity and your sense of self and the impulsive actions that you take. So with that being said, right, Chiron and Aries is trying to help you pretty much to observe the way you identify yourself observe your impulsive actions and then gain healing wisdom from them gain wisdom from the gain wisdom from them that lets you actually heal some of the more negative actions you know what i'm saying it's really important to understand who you are and how you identify yourself and where your sense of self is coming from because these really do control your actions and we're being urged to actually heal some of the more toxic impulses that come from lesser identities and lower ways of feeling about ourselves and identifying with ourselves. You know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. And and when it when in 2026 is gonna be really like okay so I know I said Chiron's gonna be in Aries till 2026 but it's like 2026 then it's gonna hop back inside Aries and then 2027 April it'll be like it'll be inside Taurus for the long term right and that's gonna gain healing wisdom from our values you know what I'm saying understand that. Your values change when you identify yourself differently. So we have a lot of value changing shit going on right now. You know what I'm saying? But you can't fully transform your values until you fully understand. Well, here's what I mean. Your values cannot fully align with your true self until you actually understand who, you tr who your true self is. So until you have all the healing wisdom that you get from Aries, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to, you know have a have values that are truly 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 aligned with your true self until you understand your true self you know what i'm trying to say like until you understand who your true self is your values won't align with that fully so it's like we are changing our values which we're going to be you're going to be seeing that as we go on however understand that a big value change is going to happen in 2027 you know what i'm saying but we're starting with that shit right now for real that's why it's like with with the wood dragon it's the beginning of stepping into this power and stuff like that you know what i'm saying and when it comes to aries that's a very very powerful sign because your identity literally is the, is the stem of power that creates everything else you know what i'm saying hold up gotta gotta do something real quick so it's a very powerful energy finding out who you truly are is a very very powerful thing that helps you step into that strength that power that authority when you truly know who who the heck you are you know what i'm trying to say so with that being said right let's talk about pluto now in the I'm talking about planets that really control our destiny, right? Because something like Mercury, it controls our fate. Our fate is pretty much what we're dealing with right now. The karmic tendencies that you deal with right now. You know what I'm saying? Destiny is where you're being urged to go based upon the energy around you. That's not purely karmic. You know what I'm saying? So it's your fate, right? That comes from your past actions, you pretty much, you know what I'm saying? And then destiny comes from the energy that's going on right now, you know? So our destiny gets controlled by, like, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, the North Node, all that. The, the, the planets that stay inside signs for longer periods of time, like Jupiter, Pluto, those, those control our destiny and where we're heading, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, right, Pluto is going to be in Capricorn till the end of January, Hold up. Yeah. Yeah. This year. So right now it's in Capricorn, but then in the end of January, it's going to be inside of Aquarius, right? So it's going to be in Aquarius until October, but then back inside of Aquarius until December. It's, no, my bad. I said this wrong. So Pluto is in Capricorn until the end of January, right? 
in the end of January, it's going to be in Aquarius until October. You know what I'm saying? It's going to retrograde eventually. Then go into a, it's going to go back into uh, Capricorn, right? So in October, it's going to eventually go back to Capricorn, right? But then it's going to go back to Aquarius in December. You know what I'm saying? So December time is going to be back inside of Aquarius all the way until 2024. You know what I'm saying? Now understand that Pluto was inside Capricorn since 2008. So Pluto entering Aquarius is actually a huge, this is a big deal, okay? So Pluto and Capricorn gives you a deep impulse to achieve your goals and restrict yourself. When it comes to Capricorn, right? And it's restriction. It does deal with achieving your goals, but it deals more with like, it's like restricting your inner emotion and inner impulses in order to achieve something. So it's like, you may not actually achieve stuff with Capricorn. You just discipline yourself and restrict yourself in certain ways to be able to achieve stuff. If you get what I mean, you know? The reason why you the reason why you restrict yourself is often to achieve a goal. So whether you achieve it or not doesn't is not the full thing. It's really just about why you're restricting yourself and how you do it. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, right? Pluto and Capricorn gives a deep impulse to restrict. You know what I'm saying? Which negative beings and negative forces that you know understand astrology and want to rule this world they use that to pretty much make you be like very restrictive and inside yourself and not take action like like capricorn is beneficial for a fact but people know how to use it inside of a harmful way you know what i'm saying so they do that to people however when pluto gets inside of aquarius right that gives a deep impulse to reform things you know what i'm saying honestly this is a destiny thing so it affects you but also the whole entire collective like we're going to be transforming a lot of shit until 2024. So understand that, like, by the time it's 2024, some of y'all going to be, what, 30, 40, 50? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, just, it's going to be late 30s, late 40s, late 50s, probably type shit. Like, if you're, like, 18, bro, that's that's late 30s, damn near 40. You know what I'm saying? If you're if you're in your 20s, you're going to be 40. You get what I'm trying to say? You're going to be pretty fucking old. Well, not, I should say it like that. Because you're not really that old, but you're going to be like way more mature and older than you are right now. So understand that when Pluto enters Aquarius, that's going to be like, it's going to be big changes that last for years. Like over time, you're going to see way more shit change and reform. What is reforming? Reforming is when you take something old and make it something new. So like with Aquarius, that's the water bearer, right? It symbolizes pretty much... You have all this knowledge, right? You know what I'm saying? You have all this old knowledge, right? Aquarius pretty much takes that old knowledge, makes it some new shit, and then gives it out to everybody. Everybody's like, everybody's like, holy shit, it makes so sense. Like, you know how, like, with religion, right? It could be super duper confusing, right? But, but then you have people who be like, oh, this religion shit, let me take this shit, transform this shit, and give it to y'all in a way that y'all understand. So it's like the old systems and ways of doing things are going to be getting transformed and reformed and then put in new ways and, like, expressed in new ways. It's going to be like that with you also. Your old self is going to be transformed to some new shit. You know what I'm trying to say? Hold up, more shit popping up. Yeah, bro. A lot of it's gonna be a deep impulse to transform, pretty much. It's this gonna be a deep feeling that people feel to just simply reform their lives and who they are. And yeah, now of course, depending on what house, like for example, if this is happening inside your first house, you're gonna be reforming your personality and your identity a lot. You know what I'm saying? If it's in your second house, it's gonna be your values. If it's your third house, it's gonna be your ideas, your thoughts, the way you communicate. So it does depend on what house is inside of so with the astrology coaching i can help you with that with all that shit so if you want that shit links down below i do got you but overall yeah a deep impulse to reform on some level it's gonna be happening for fucking years bro so let's get to jupiter now so jupiter is currently in taurus and then at the end of may it's gonna be in gemini all the way until june 2025 so when it's inside of taurus right that makes you expand on your values. So before, right, it was making us pretty much, because it, it was it was like going retrograde inside of Taurus and all this other shit. And then we have Uranus inside of Taurus also. You know what I'm saying? So overall, right, like Jupiter and Taurus along with Uranus and Taurus. Uranus and Taurus is reforming your values, right? So with Jupiter and Taurus, that was making you expand on your values, right? But it's like, if you have more material values and more like, you know, 
unhealthy values, then you would be expanding on that stuff, which you may have noticed that you've been expanding on some unhealthy stuff, right? However, it's doing that to make you aware of these values and eventually transform them. And as you get more in tune with your true self, your values transform anyway, and then you expand on those new values. But with Uranus also being in Taurus, they make you reform your values, and then you expand on that reformation of values. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, you may be taking action on like some negative values sometimes, but it's supposed to make you transform those values and become aware of those negative stuff to make them some new positive stuff. And that happens the more you get in tune with your true self. You know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, right? With this expanding of values and all the other shit, right? As you get in tune with new values, your thoughts also change too. So when Jupiter goes inside of Gemini, right? That's going to make you expand on your thoughts and your ideas and your communication, you know? So when it comes to expanding on ideas, right? Because you get more in tune with your true self and your true values, right? The ideas that you have will be more aligned with your true self and your true values. Therefore, you should actually expand on those. You know what I'm saying? So... You can expand on them in different ways. Like sometimes you may expand on your on your ideas and relate them to your personality. Sometimes you may expand on them and actually manifest them physically. Sometimes you may expand on them through communication. Sometimes you expand on them through simply just feeling them and feeling your thoughts more. Like there's different ways that depends on what house is in and all this other stuff, you know. But overall, right, we're going to first be expanding on our values, which we've been doing for a long ass time. Like I like I've been saying, like I've been saying this shit for a grip, like I said, bro. So by this period of time, you should have been obtaining new values that align with your true self way more. Now, some of you guys who may not have been hip to stuff may not have been doing that, but that's okay because you're getting hip to it now. Please pay attention. This is very important. I know this should get long, but it's it's real. This is this is for the whole year, my guy. You know what I'm saying? So take take your notes, you know? We're going to be expanding on values to get us in line with our true values, then eventually expanding on our thoughts and our ideas. You know what I'm saying? Because those thoughts and ideas should be more in line with our true selves. Now, of course, you guys could be having some negative thoughts, negative ideas. And if you expand on those, it's not going to be the best. But, you know, with all of this reforming stuff of values and stuff like that, the ideas should be more pure. With all this getting into our true self, the ideas should be more pure. So with Uranus, right? Uranus is going to be inside Taurus till 2025, you know, until July, until the end of July 2025, you know what I'm saying? So let me just see something real quick. So, hold up. All right, boom. So pretty much, right, when Jupiter finally goes into Cancer, June 2025, Uranus is going to be going eventually to Gemini. So... Uranus and Gemini is reforming your thoughts and ideas, and then Jupiter and Cancer is expanding on your emotions, and your thoughts affect your emotions, so as you reform your thoughts, your emotions change too and stuff like that, but that's some 2025 shit, we'll get to that shit when 2025 actually comes, you know, just know that Uranus and Taurus all the way till the end of July 2025, so all the, for this whole entire year, Uranus will be in Taurus, that's gonna make you reform your values, you know what I'm saying, so... A lot of that's going on. And understand that when it comes to stepping aside your power. My fault, yo. I have like three things going on at once. And people be needing me and stuff like that. As you can see, I had to handle a whole bunch of stuff. But like I was saying, right? In order to step into your true authority and power and leadership and your strength that the Dragon Year does, right? In order to actually do that, you must what? Be in line with, you know noble values and values that actually allow you to be an authoritative figure and actually have power and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like i said this is an eight-year transformation and we're gonna be transforming our values a lot and also with pluto being inside of what uh fucking aquarius that's a deep impulse to reform and transform a whole bunch of shit so with this year of transformation, as you can see, it's going to be a whole bunch of transformers starting off. And Pluto is going to be inside Uranus for a while, like I said. This is a wood dragon year, though. So it's like the beginning of the transformation that's going to be happening for years. And understand that when you have Pluto inside of Aquarius, that means you have a deep impulse to reform, right? And if Uranus is inside of Venus, that's reforming your values. That's not just you, though. As a collective... People will have a deep impulse to reform their values. So people will be valuing different things globally. Hopefully people start having more spiritual values so that way we can have some aliens come down and say what's good to us. Hey, 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 wouldn't that be lovely though? You know, at, at, at least, at least just 
get more spiritually in tune so that way you know spiritual beings want to contact us more even if aliens don't come down and be like hey what's good at least at least let the frequency be higher you know what i'm saying like yeah so understand that globally values will be changing changing so people value bullshit before hopefully not if i use some new shit you see what i'm trying to say so yeah it's gonna be a whole bunch of transformation going on and people who have already been trying to transform themselves and like hit like a higher standard you guys will damn near be like leaders for people who finally start doing it like because people have been transforming themselves for a while getting in line with higher values for a while you know what i'm saying people who haven't been doing that though might finally start doing that and they'll need people to look up to, which is going to be people who already been doing this type of work. You know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. Now let's get into um, Saturn. So, Saturn is going to be inside Pisces until June 2025. This premise is you restrict your unconscious mind. So, it makes it not flow as much as it usually would, you know? And then with Neptune in Pisces, right? That's gonna that's gonna be in Pisces till April 2025, right? So Neptune in Pisces makes your unconscious mind flow how it usually would. How does your unconscious mind usually flow? Your unconscious mind is usually connected to everyone and everything. So when Neptune's inside Pisces, it just makes that con it just makes it normally be like that. Like you're just normally con you're just normally connected to everybody and everything on an unconscious level, and things from the collective just naturally flow. You know. However, with with Saturn inside Pisces, it puts a restriction on that. You know what I'm saying? So it's not flowing like as much as it possibly could. You know, like if Neptune was inside of Aries, like it's going to be in April, 2025. That's going to pretty much make your, un it's like your unconscious mind is going to be influenced by your identity. You know what I'm saying? So the way you identify yourself is going to make certain shit pop up from the unconscious. Now, this is actually very important to understand because we're doing a whole bunch of like getting in tune with our true self this year, right? If you're not in tune with your true self, when Neptune hits Aries, that could be bad because if you have negative identities that lead to negative impulsive actions that's going to be flowing through your unconscious mind you know what i'm saying you're going to be really acting off that shit so you can see why it's very important that our values transform and stuff like that and we get into with our true self before neptune hits pisces in april 2025 you know what i'm saying now understand that you will have saturn inside aries june 2025 which will put a restriction on that flowing and stuff like that so it's like it won't be flowing super duper crazy with that restriction on there but still, you want to make sure you have a identity that's fully aligned with who you truly are. So, yeah, overall with this year, right, it's a year of transformation and us beginning to step into our true power, who we truly are. And we're going to be changing our values a lot and expanding on new ideas a lot and pretty much understanding who we truly are and, and getting healing wisdom from the actions that we take and stuff like that. So... The wisdom that we acquired last year is going to help us transform this year. And we're just stepping to who we truly are and our true power, you know? And in order to do that, we got to have values that truly align with our true selves. And we got to actually take action and expand on these ideas that we get once we align with our true self. You know what I'm saying? This whole entire year does with this whole entire year, this whole entire year deals with becoming your true self understanding your true power taking that authority role and the thing is authority it don't got to be other over people it could simply just be over your life taking authority over your life you know what i'm saying and as you do that right you're gonna be like it's, you're gonna be golden bro because 2025 that's gonna be the year of like it's gonna be a year of like death and completion so when it comes to completion in this sense right it's like you, you try to transform this year, right? If you do all that shit, then you'll be, like, hitting, like, the end point of, like, the first transformation. You know what I'm saying? It's like the first step is kind of complete next year. And then you start a new cycle in 2026. Well, really, like, how should I say that? Yeah, 2026. It's like a, it's like a it's like a new cycle. It's like It's like a new beginning of some shit. You know what I'm saying? So we're already beginning a transformation now. And then we're going to, like, be closing that out the first step. But then it's going to be new steps, so on and so forth. And it's going like to be like that with the astrology also and all this other shit. But let's stay focused on 2024. The year of transformation and stepping into who we truly are. Understanding our true self. 
aligning with true values, expanding on ideas that align with our true self, and overall just reforming ourselves and becoming who we, you know, <laughs> I keep on saying this, but becoming who we truly are, like obtaining that true power, that true strength, that true authority, you know, getting that respect, getting in tune with our wisdom, and just like all that shit. So you get the whole entire point, bro. I hope you transform this year. I hope you know who you want to become because like I said, even if you don't fully achieve your goals, that's okay because it's all about becoming a certain kind of person who's able to achieve those goals, which you're going to start achieving a lot more in 2025 and 2026. You know what I'm saying? So you got to become the person who's able to achieve that first. So really, really start achieving those things. But understand that with eight being a transformation number, it does transform your life in like the material reality. So you can really start seeing some abundance because dragons do symbolize luck and stuff like that. And eight does deal with abundance and stuff like that. So it was like you could be seeing the abundance come through. And pretty much you're, you're, you'll be able to see the abundance if you get in line with your true self. So, so the more in tune you are with the true self, the more results you're going to see. And this whole entire year is forcing you to be in tune with your true self. So when conflicts happen, understand that your true self will be able to handle any single conflict. So don't let the conflicts hold you back. Let the conflicts make you get into your true self. So with that being said, it's been your boy, Dot, from Domino Coaches to Get Entertainment. For coaching links down below, Spring Out Readings down below, Discord down below, Star Sea Readings down below, Astrology Readings down below, everything's down below. I'm going to catch you in my next video. Peace.